Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing good today. In my last video, I have explained what is JWT. So if you have not watched it yet, then please find the link of the video in the description. So in this video, I am going to show you how we can create a JWT token in Java. Before showing you the code, I will explain you the structure of the JWT so that it will help you to understand the code better. So now in this structure, you can see here that each JWT contains three parts that is the header and the payload and the signature and in this example you see the three parts are separated by a dot and the first first part is the header and the second part is the payload and the third one is signature so now let me explain you how you can sign the JWT okay so all the JWTs are signed using one of these two algorithm that is SH50212 signing algorithm which is a symmetric key hashing algorithm that uses one secret key symmetric means two parties share the secret key and the key is used for both generating the signature and also to validate it okay so here the disadvantage is that both the parties using the same key okay so now the another one is rs512 signing algorithm and which is an asymmetric algorithm that uses a public and private key pair the identity provider has a private key to generate the signature and the receiver if the receiver wants to validate it then the receiver has the public key to validate it okay so the public key used to verify and the private key used to generate the tokens are linked since they are generated as a pair okay so no one can modify a generated JWT because it's signed by one of these two algorithm so now let me explain you JWT claims and payload so in the JWT structure I have uh, shown it to you that the second part is the payload okay or claims okay so in the payloads you can add user data plus technical data okay so basically user data is known as claims that is user ID session ID and the example of technical data is like the issue time expired time and audience okay so audience means like uh, it's the identifier uh, of the project who is generating the token and uh, there are many other things also so for this uh, video I'm going to explain you how to generate JWT using HS 512 key okay in the description of this video you will find the link of the source code I'm going to show you so you can easily download it from github and then you can run it in your local environment so I have already written the code for you so now I'm going to explain you how you can create the JWT in Java okay so create JWT in Java you need these three dependencies okay so you can uh, easily find this dependency in my van repo and I will also provide in the description of this video so you can just copy it okay so so this library provides provides few classes and using those classes you can create the JWT very easily okay so the main thing is that there is a class called JWT builder you have to create uh, the object uh, of this class using JWTS dot builder okay and then I have told you that uh, in this example 
I am going to show you using HS512 algorithm. Okay, so here you see the key. So I have defined a key, and this is a random number. Okay, you can put anything here. So as I have uh, shown to you that JWT has three part here header, payload, and the signature. Okay, so first I am going to show you how you can add headers. Okay. So in the JWT builders, there are uh, already predefined methods. It's called set header. Okay, so you can use this method to set the headers. So here is also a constant uh, class JWT header. So here they have already defined few constants, so you can use it. So JWT type. So it's the type of the JWT that is it is uh, JWT, and then you can uh, set the algorithm. So what type of algorithm you are using to generate it? So this is uh, the algorithm I am using, and then you can add an ID of this key. You can put one, two, three, whatever you want. It's to identify, and you can apply your own logic to verify it. Okay, suppose uh, you have uh, two type of uh, JWT key. That is, uh, one is with ID one and another with ID two. So you can validate. Uh, ID one with the one type of key and with the, the JWT with key ID two, you can validate with a different key. Okay, so that's the use of this key. So now let me show you payload. So in the JWT structure, I have explained to you that the second part is the payloads. Okay, and payloads contains user data that is claims. And technical data. Okay, so how you can add claims in my builder? So for that you have to create an object like this in Java. So I have created a object of hash map, and then you see the name of the object is my content, and in my content I have added user ID and session ID. Okay, and the values is one one. So for your case it should be project specific. and how you can set my content in the claims so in the my builder there is a predefined method set claims so you have to use this method to set the my content content object okay and that's it so that's the way you can add user data or claims and then uh, i told you that uh, payloads contain technical data also so technical data you can set it directly in the builder so that is uh, my builder already has few predefined methods like uh, you can uh, add the subject using uh, set subject uh, method and also you can uh, add the audience and uh, also the issuer issuer means who is issuing it so it should be the project name for you when you are working on a project and then uh, the time of uh, issue when the jwt generating and also you can add uh, the expiration time so that when you will validate it you can uh, check the expiration time and it's if it if it's already expired then uh, you can throw an error that jwt is not valid okay and here is the signature so this is the most important thing okay so how i am signing this jwt So you see this class. This class is provided by Java. Okay, in the security package. So you have to use this class to create the signing key. So this is the way I am creating the signing key. Okay, so this is my key. So this is the key I have defined here. Then using this class, and this class is provided by the dependency I have added in this project. Okay. so this one jwt api so after uh, getting the signing key okay you have to also create the algorithm so you have to pass the algorithm then and then you have to instantiate an object of this class signature algorithm which is provided by you see the json web token uh, package that is the jwt api and then you have to 
sign like this okay my builder dot sign with so this sign with, with method is provided by the library so you have to use it to sign the key okay and then you just need to call this method okay compact my builder my builder dot compact then it will give you the JWT token okay and then you can return it uh, as a header or you can return directly in the object whatever you want okay so for this example I have just uh, written it in the response of the API okay so now let me build it so I will use Maven to build this project and then let's uh, go to the war file so I have created a API that is uh, the user API and the method is login okay so I'm not passing anything username and password so first uh, what you will do you will uh, receive a username and password okay and then you, you will authenticate the user and after authenticating the user you will generate the uh, JWT key okay but uh, for the moment I am just showing you how you can generate it but the real use case is after validating the user you should create a session in uh, Redis or uh, any database like uh, DynamoDB and then you can generate the token and then you should pass the token to the user okay so let me show you I'll go to Tommy I'm using Tommy server to deploy it so server is running already so now let me show you the JWT so this is my URL I have already tested it so you see this is the JWT okay so now I will show you how you can decode it okay so you have to go to jwt.io okay and then you need to paste it here and then you will see it okay you see I have added the type jwt and the algorithm is uh, HS512 and then uh, KID is 1 okay and this is the payload so these two are user claims and then these are the technical data and you see the signature is uh, not valid if you copy the signature and paste it here you will see it's uh, the signature is verified okay so that's the way you can uh, generate a JWT in Java and then you can uh, build your uh, own authentication and authorization mechanism so in my next video I'm going to show you show you how you can generate JWT using RSA 512 certificate okay so in my next video I'm going to show you how you can create a shelf signed certificate and certificate means a public and private key and I will show you how you can use those private and uh, public key to generate and verify JWT so that's all from today's video please subscribe to my channel for uh, more videos related to programming